Well, Trick Honors was an enjoyable class, but I spent a lot of time on um, math contests and extra credit to make sure that I could get a good grade. So I would suggest that don't take too many APs while you're taking this in here. I basically went, in, went to a tutoring center. It actually helped a lot because before I joined, before I took classes there, I started out the year with a C in my class and then with MIT, it brought my grade up to an A, to a 96. But uh, taking Pre honors was pretty fun and I learned a lot in the class. So, if you're planning to take calculus um, in your year after pre -cal, or if you pick out AP, calculus, then it's definitely class to take because all the other math classes kind of suck, you don't learn anything, and they use this chunks test anyways. So, take pre -cal honors. Um, you might not get a good grade, but it will help you. It will prepare, for you, prepare you for the other math classes, and um, it is an enjoyable challenge. AP stats is a pretty difficult class to get an A in. Like, only less than 10 people get A's in class, probably. Learn during class so that you can actually do the homework. And you should probably take the class because you're going to eat a lot of candy. <laughs> uh, I would give them advice to take the class because Ms. Rothfuss gives a lot of candy. <laughs> yeah. It's not even just one type of candy, too. Like, she ranges it out. Like, we've never had the same candy twice. There was one time for activity, she let us shoot. We yeah, we have tests. Uh, her curves are fine, I guess. Oh, AP Stats is a very useful class. The students get to learn about ways to analyze data, and it's a class that uh, can be helpful in so many other areas, such as AP Psychology, AP Chemistry, AP Physics, AP Bio. I think it's a really useful class, something we'll probably use a lot in the future and you probably should pay attention when she's talking, otherwise you won't do well. <laughs> yeah. And I try to make it fun by having a lot of interactive uh, activities, many of which um, well, candy. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work, uh, but I try to make it fun and real applicable to very many college majors require students to take statistics and so coming in with a statistics background can be very helpful. Do well, get yeah. good notes. If you pay attention in the class, you'll be fine. And if you do the homework, you'll be fine. And but you have to show work on all your homework. Yeah, it's a lot of points And she's very particular yeah. in tests. Um, anyone who um, really wants to study uh, psychology, economics. Do your homework. Also, don't screw up on tests. Well, try not to screw up. Don't do what I do and like walk around with the class. Don't touch the smart board. That's an important one. I would say prepare, uh, prepare like during the class. You want to be able to study on your own, like apart from what you're using. And also, with the kids, you want to be able to. You want to be able, you want to be able to follow her directions exactly because she gives yeah. like, a lot of attention to detail and you lose a lot of points. Yeah, I just, I just start off at the same place at the beginning of the school year, but students are expected to uh, cover more material. And so there's really no downtime in the class. You're always moving just to make sure you have all the content. Also with calculus, whether it's A, B, C, uh, you're going to have to be explaining, verifying, justifying uh, uh, steps that you've made. And uh, so it involves a little bit of writing that's kind of not typical for a math class. And uh, students sometimes think that they need calculus when they don't really. Um, so if you want to take BC, you really should make sure that it's something that you're going to need in college. You know, it's a lot of stress to put yourself in. Uh, any Kumar class, I think you're going to have to be really prepared to keep up with that. Because Kumar is not going to wait around for you to understand any concept. If you teach us something to you, like, a few weeks before, you're going to have to know what time for the test. Because he builds off everything he teaches earlier. Um, you're gonna have to put a lot of time into this class. Also. Oh my god. Don't take the class. The class, like, the, 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 basically, Mr. Kumar, you, you have to be able to be independent. He runs it a lot like a college class, he just throws, throws material at you. And then you have to learn everything on your own, prepare for the test on your own. You have to be able to know how to study properly. It's, you have to be independent. It's a college class. Kumar, Kumar doesn't spend a lot of time explaining these things, so you have to pick it up as you go. 
concepts are generally pretty hard. They're a lot harder than any like any of the other math classes you've taken. It's on a different level. But generally, Mr. Kumar's tests are fairly straightforward, and they're generally fairly similar to the questions he actually gives you or what's on in the book. So as long as you, it might take you a while to understand the concepts, once you be generally okay. Also, the curves are generally pretty good. So even though you might feel like everyone you failed, you would still do okay because generally everyone fails. And it'll all be curves. So. Generally, Mr. Kamal will have your back and try to get as many people to have a great time.